Imagine if your car runs 1,200 kilometers straight after charging once and that too gets charged in just 10 minutes. Yes, this is not a dream but it can happen with Toyota's new solid-state battery. Toyota's CEO recently made such an announcement, which has created a stir in the entire auto industry. Tesla, BYD, and other companies are now shocked as to how Toyota has done this. No company has been able to claim to provide such a large range and such fast charging till date, but Toyota has now made this impossible dream a reality. The question is after the arrival of this battery will the whole game of the EV market change or is there a catch in it too? After all, what technology is used in it? In this video we will tell you what is the real story behind this amazing technology of Toyota and why it is being considered the biggest revolution of the future. So stay with us till the end of this video because at the end we will tell you when this battery can come to the market and whether it really has so much power or is it just a slogan. Before moving on to the video you must subscribe to the channel so that you could be the first to see such tremendous information. Before knowing about Toyota's market-shaking battery technology, let us first understand what the position of Toyota is today. Whenever there is talk of electric vehicles in the world, the name of Tesla comes first in people's minds. But quietly, that is without making much noise. Toyota has deeply rooted itself in the EV market in the last few years. You know, a lot of people still think that Toyota only makes petrol and diesel vehicles. But honestly, the reality is quite different. Toyota is actually one of the largest car companies in the world, and over the last few years, it has put a lot of focus on electric vehicles. If we look at the numbers from the past few years, Toyota has seen tremendous growth in the sales of EV and hybrid vehicles. In fact, in the year 2023 alone, Toyota sold about 3.4 million electric and hybrid vehicles worldwide. That means basically, one out of every three Toyota vehicles now runs on electric or hybrid systems instead of a petrol engine. And not only that, the demand for Toyota's EVs is continuously increasing in big markets like Japan, America, and Europe. Moreover, Toyota is now fully prepared to compete with BYD and other local companies in markets like China. Actually, Toyota has realized that the era of petrol and diesel engines is coming to an end after gaining a stronghold in hybrids. Now the company is betting completely on battery electric vehicles. That's why the company has spent billions of dollars on its research and development. Over the last few years, Toyota has set up new EV factories in many countries around the world. It has made the journey from self-charging hybrids to plug-in hybrids and now, all the way to battery EVs. So, Toyota now clearly says that it will reduce the production of petrol engine vehicles in the next 4 to 5 years and will convert most of the lineup to electric by 2026. The company has set a target to sell more than 1.5 million battery EVs every year. And not only this, Toyota has also launched many new EV models in the market. Vehicles like BZ4X Trev and BZ3 have already hit the roads and there are plans to launch many new EV platforms and models in the coming 2-3 years. One special thing about Toyota is that it never hurried to run in the EV race. The company always launches its products in the market after testing them thoroughly. This is the reason why people consider Toyota's electric vehicles more reliable. Be it hybrid technology or fuel cell vehicles, Toyota has proved quality and durability every time. Toyota's CEO believes that just making vehicles is not enough to survive in the EV market. It is most important to improve battery technology because, you know, it's because of the battery that the range is less, charging takes more time, and the price is also high. And due to this thinking, Toyota did such a big research on solid-state batteries. So now that you know Toyota has already made a stronghold in the world of EVs and is slowly leaving petrol engines behind, then imagine if the same Toyota has now made a battery that runs for 1,200 kilometers and gets charged in just 10 minutes. Then how big will be the explosion in the market? Is 1,200 kilometers in just 10 minutes of charging possible? Why are other companies worried? Now, this question is really roaming in everyone's mind because honestly, till date, no company in the EV market has been able to claim to give such a long range and such fast charging. Even a giant company like Tesla gives a range of about 500 to 600 kilometers in its expensive models. And while fast charging also takes at least 30 to 40 minutes. In such a situation, when Toyota suddenly came and said that they have made a battery that will give a range of 1,200 kilometers and get charged in just 10 minutes, then it's only natural for other companies to be shocked because that means Toyota hit on the EV's biggest weakness, battery limits. The three biggest problems in the EV market so far 
are range anxiety, charging time, and high cost of vehicles. Before buying an EV people think, what will they do if the battery runs out on the way or if they sit to charge it? They'll be stuck on the charger for hours, and on top of that, the price of an EV is several lakhs more than petrol cars. This is the reason why EVs have not been able to replace petrol vehicles all over the world so far. So far, Tesla and BYD are at the forefront of this race. Tesla has made a good hold on the strength of its supercharger network and big batteries. Their premium models are giving a range of up to 500 to 600 kilometers. But the problem is that the price of vehicles is very high for such a battery, and the range is reduced in cheap models. On the other hand, BYD launched cheap EVs in China and other countries whose range is a little less, but the prices are under control. So, they also introduced technology like the Blade battery, which is, you know, both safe and durable. But, honestly, their vehicles still don't really offer more than 400 to 500 kilometers of range, and fast charging takes about 30 to 40 minutes. The biggest challenge in the EV market today, well, it's basically making a battery that gives you more range, charges quickly, and isn't super expensive. And now Toyota has claimed to do exactly that. That's why companies like Tesla and BYD are, you know, a bit worried, because if Toyota actually pulls this off, it could really shake up the whole game. Toyota's talk of 1,200 kilometers of range and just 10 minutes of charging is huge, since it's tackling the biggest weakness of electric vehicles. And if this battery becomes cheap and ready for production, then honestly, the EV market can completely change. People who are afraid of buying EVs till now will also buy EVs without hesitation. So this is the reason why other companies are worried now. They're thinking what formula has Toyota got hold of that no one has got hold of till now? That is why this technology can prove to be a game changer for the entire industry. To understand how a solid state battery works, it's best to first look at the lithium ion batteries we use today in our phones, laptops, and electric vehicles. These conventional batteries are built like a sandwich. They have two key components called electrodes, a positive cathode and a negative anode, and between them, they are filled with a liquid or gel-like chemical electrolyte. This liquid electrolyte acts like a busy highway, allowing lithium ions to shuttle back and forth between the anode and cathode when you charge or discharge the battery. While this design is effective and has powered our devices for years, the liquid electrolyte is inherently fragile, flammable, and volatile, which is why these batteries can overheat and require robust safety systems to prevent fires. A solid-state battery represents a fundamental leap in technology by addressing this very core component. Instead of using a liquid electrolyte, it replaces it with a solid material. This solid electrolyte can be made from various advanced ceramics, glass, or solid polymers, Imagine it as replacing the liquid highway with a solid superstructured bridge or a dense ion conducting membrane. The core principle remains the same. Lithium ions still move from the cathode to the anode during charging and back during discharge to create an electric current, but they now do so by traveling through a solid medium. This simple sounding swap from liquid to solid has profound implications. It drastically reduces flammability as there's no liquid to catch fire, leading to vastly improved safety. Furthermore, this solid structure is mechanically stronger and can potentially allow for the use of a pure lithium metal anode, which is far more energy dense than the graphite anodes used today. This is the key to the promise of solid state batteries. They could offer significantly higher energy storage, like, you know, longer range for electric vehicles, much faster charging times, and a longer overall lifespan, all while being inherently safer than their liquid based predecessors.